more power, more range, less maintenance, less weight. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome back to New Zealand. It's freezing because it's winter again in New Zealand. It just happens every year. But I'm so excited because Energica has a new motor and controller and this is all this crazy news. And they just uploaded a video and I can't wait to watch it. But before the video, let's just set the stage for who Energica is, what's going on, why this is such a big deal. So Energica's went on sale in 2015, but they were called 2016 models. Just it's just how they do it. So let's just say the bikes as we know them have been on the streets for about five-ish years. In 2020, they made a huge leap forward with an upgraded battery from the original 13.4 kilowatt hour pack to a 21.5 kilowatt hour pack, which makes it the biggest battery of any electric motorcycle so far. How I understand it is they just put the battery from the Moto E race bikes into the street bikes. But all these years, the motor has stayed the same until now. Okay, let's just watch this video. Oh my god. Alright, new motor. That looks cool. Notice there's no sump. Remember when I had to do the first service on my Ego, I had to take the sump off to do an oil change? I guess that's not a thing anymore? Yeah, she's probably pointing out the lack of sump. Highest performance in the world. Another step on the road to the electric revolution. Yes! Yes! More power. More range. Less maintenance. Let's wait. <sighs> Widening the gap. Ahead of every other electric motorcycle. Still the leader. Ah, yep. Yep. Okay. I want to know more. Would you like to know more? All right. Here we are on the Energica website. 2021 bikes. Scroll down. Man, those look good. Okay. Uh, new EMCE motor. See what that's about. So it's a hybrid synchronous motor, which I looked up and I got really confused, but it's basically more power with higher efficiency. Sounds awesome. And it spins to 12,000 RPM. The original motors only went to 10 and a half thousand RPM. So this has got to sound insane. Motor and inverter now share a liquid cooling system. So now the motor uses coolant, the same as the controller, because the motor used to use like automatic transmission fluid that was shared between the motor and the gearbox and so that was a totally separate system from the controller which had a radiator that had coolant coming in so now that's all it's all connected it's freaking awesome the new design also makes it lighter weight so 10 kilos lighter than the last motor which combined with the latest battery is 23 kilos lighter than the bike i had they say it has a lower center of gravity which you can see in one of these photos actually it sits a little lower than before. The old one was like up here, I think. That's right, I went to art school. Higher peak performance though, that's what people want to know about. So, 169 horsepower compared to like my bike had 143 horsepower. So that's freaking huge. The gap has been widened, all right. Increased range, especially at highway speeds. So obviously the bike is lighter weight now, so that helps with the range, but it also says the motor runs at a lower temperature and the new adaptive control inverter keeps things super efficient. So the result is 5-10% to 10 more range than before, which with the newer battery was already insane. So that's exciting. Uh, now maintenance. So this is a big deal because the previous motors, you had to service them every 10,000 Ks or 6,000 miles. And it took a while to do because you have to take off all the fairings and then take the sump off and clean all that. And, like fill it from a whole bunch of different parts. Now it's 30,000 kilometers for the gearbox oil, which looks super easy to change. You probably just unscrew this to drain it and then put new oil in there. And it's probably only like a cup or something, like not very much. And then coolant doesn't need to be flushed for 45,000 kilometers. Let me just check something real quick. Yep, you could ride around the world without servicing your motor. That's what that means. So yeah, pretty mind-blowing news. Like, this is a huge step forward for Energica and for electric motorcycles in general. Like, more efficiency, more power, more range, lighter weight. Like, I need a drink. <laughs> Ciao, come stai? Who are you talking to? 
Energica about Ooh. the new bikes. Oh, exciting! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a red one. Maybe two. 